when I was coming up, I received the baptism of the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue yeah. when I was 11. Amen. Yeah. Come on. And at 11 years old, 12, 13, those that was in that age group when I was coming up, we would come together when there wasn't no church going on. Yeah. Yeah. That's all Go down to the church and have prayer. We didn't put a time on it. Amen. We didn't care about time. We was 11, 12, 13, 14. We got there at the front that you called the altar. Amen. Crying out to God. Why? We wanted something. That's right. That's all right. When you're seeking the Holy Ghost, yeah. you ain't got to wait on no Tuesday night. You ain't got to have no security in the building to have service. Go ahead, brother. Service go on if security die. <laughs> That's right. That's right. God. That's true. Yeah. God Almighty. When you want God, hmm. you come together. Yeah. That's right. One mind. One mind. One heart. Yeah. We were 11, 12, 13, 14. Receiving the Holy Ghost. Amen. Why? We wanted it. He that hunger and thirst at the righteousness shall be filled. That's right. You have to want it. That's right. Oh, not come in church and his brother sitting here having a conversation with his wife he can't even listen to the word his wife keep nudging him running off at the mouth can't you control your woman tell her look it's time for you to be quiet the word is being preached That's right. then she gonna tell you don't tell me to shut up I say what I want well if you got that attitude why are you in church why you in there and if you take it, where's your spine? That's right. That's right. When the Lord is in the holy temple, let the earth, let keep the earth be silent. Keep silence. The book said the Lord is in his holy temple. In the book of Habakkuk 2 and verse 20. Give chapter and verse again. In the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 20. Says what? But the Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple. Is in his holy place. Let all the earth. How much? All the earth. What your wife got to say, what your husband got to say, wait. Amen. It's not an emergency. Wait. That's right. Let all the earth what? Keep silence before him. Who are you before? Before him. Before him. Yeah. All. All the earth. Before who? Before him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. If there's any kind of rehearsal, mm. but the word of God is about to be taught, mm -hmm. keep silence. No, just turn the volume down. Keep no. silence. No, just still do it, but low key. Keep silence. Keep silence. Everything stop and shut down. That's right. Everything. That's all right. Everything. 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 Not standing outside just talking, running off at the mouth. That's right. Get off the church ground and come in and pray. That's right. Amen. This is all about God. Amen. You Amen. don't even have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. Amen. And you're that casual? Mm. Go ahead, man. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Man. In order to function right for God, mm. you got to have his spirit. Yes. That's right. That's right. Don't just repent of your sins and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and stop there. Amen. That's right. Come in God's house and fall on your knees. That's right. Cry out to God. Cry out to God. Surrender. Brother, you're going to be on duty tonight? No, I got, I'm going I'm going to my knees after the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That's right. Oh, well, if you're going to tarry, then you're off the team. Oh, no, I ain't. I'm going to get on my knees and tarry for the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 That's good teaching, brother. Holy Ghost Amen. is first Amen. priority Amen. 
if I got the Holy Ghost and I'm not married, there's no need for me to get interested in a woman that don't have it and she's a sinner. That's right. If you's a sister and you have the Holy Ghost and you're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, why are you declaring you engaged to a man who don't have the Holy Ghost? That's right. Good teaching, brother. The Lord says, don't. Go ahead. Be unequally yoked. Unequally yoked together. The moment you choose to do it your way, you have ignored God. That's right. Well, she's beautiful. God said. That's right. Don't be unequally yoked. That's right. With the unbeliever. For what fellowship? What involvement? Has righteousness with unrighteousness. How can you be so close? Right. To that sinner. That's right. That's true. Pastor Jenny, you got to see him. No, I don't. <laughs> Pastor Jenny, you got to see him. For what? For what? All flesh is grass. Amen. 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 What I got to see is the law. That's right. Or the spirit of life. That's right. That is in Christ Jesus. Amen. That has made me free, free. from the law of sin and death. That's right. That's what I got to see first. Amen. That's why we tell the young people, go, go after God first. Yeah. Don't worry about no boyfriend. Yeah. Don't worry about no girlfriend. That's right. God first. That's right. That way you don't be a single woman carrying a bunch of babies. Yeah. That's right. And you don't be an unmarried man Amen. who refuses to take care of those babies and add to the amount of bums go ahead. that is in America. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's right. Am I right? Yes. Go ahead, brother. Yes. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. The holy book says what? Keep Amen. thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. Go and back to the book of Corinthians. Back in 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Listen at this. And at verse 14. What is it? Be ye not unequally yoked it, together. It ain't no need for one that's baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus and have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. Mm -hmm. trying to get engaged or trying to propose marry, marriage to one that's not. That's not. One is in the body. The other is not in the body. That's right. Why do you have a joint account? Come on. Amen. Why is his name on your checks? Come on. Go ahead. Why is he driving around in your car? Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. Do you hear be, what God said? Be ye not. Don't you know you got to have God in your decision making? That's right. Stop thinking from between your legs. There is no brains down there. Go ahead. Amen. Go ahead, Pastor. Let me say it again. Go ahead. Stop thinking from between your legs. There are no brains down there. That's right. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Amen. Telling the truth. Go ahead, man. Yeah. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Go ahead. Break off the said, "You gonna air this?" Oh yes. That's right. I'm talking to the world. That's right. That's right. The word of God. Go ahead, man. The whole world needed. Yeah. Pastor Paul said, I set all things in order when I come. That's right. Didn't he say so? That's right. And that's what the apostle does. God charges him to set all things in order. In order. He don't send him out to make friends no. because he know he ain't going to have many. No. So he don't go out looking for them. That's right. I don't go out looking for a friend nowhere in the world. Nowhere. I go to preach the word. That's it. Whoever don't like it, I don't care. And whoever love it, I'm fine with that. That's right. As long as I'm on good terms with God, I don't care what the world think of me. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. I'm an independent preacher. The holy book says what? Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Be ye not. Now, somebody wrote me, and let me answer you, that wrote me. Yes. You asked me that if you're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, and the brother's baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, can you marry? 
Yes, if you both don't have the Holy Ghost, but yet you both are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, yes, you can marry. Yes. But if one is baptized and have the Holy Ghost, they are in the body of Christ because Paul said you're baptized by one spirit in to one body. Right. And if the other is still seeking the Holy Ghost and involved with you, you in their way. That's right. You're in that way. That's right. Here's one not in the body with his tongue down the throat of one that is in the body. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. Unequally. unequally. How in the world you going to be hugging them and kissing them? They're going to tell them, I'm going to help you pray to get me off your mind. You talk and think like a fool. That's right. You can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. That's right. I know from experience. Yeah. I know from experience. Amen. And my wife, God bless her nice heart, can bear me witness. Amen. When she and I was engaged, we met when we was 14. When I met her, I already had the Holy Ghost. Yeah. I already was baptized. Yeah. She wasn't raised in no church. Come on, Bridget. Not at all. But she was raised from a mother and father that had good old fashioned morals yes, right. and strictness. Wonderful. When she got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, I the one had the Holy Ghost. She didn't. I was in her way. And I talked to her and told her, listen, we're going to stop communicating. I ain't calling you, and don't you call me. I'm not coming to your house. Don't you come to mine. We are fast with you and pray with you. But the communication, we shutting down. Because if I truly loved her and which I did and do, her having the Holy Ghost was more important to me than having me. Amen. It was more important. Amen. I was a stumbling block. I was in my early teens. Yes. It's good teaching, man. Good example. It wasn't something my flesh wanted to do, but I knew I needed to. It wasn't something that she wanted to do, but she knew she needed to, and we did it. We we did it. If, if I know I'm in your way, what am I just going to stand there for? That's right. Don't be a stumbling block to your brother or your sister. That's right. When I got out the way, later on she came through speaking in tongue. Let it go. Let it go. Amen. I backed off. She came through speaking in tongue. Then I came back. Came back. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Came back and got hitched. <laughs> now, some of us is trying to talk to sinners mm. with the mind already programmed. Yeah. I'm going to marry her or I'm going to marry him. Yes. So that means you are inviting them to church with the wrong agenda. That's right. Amen. You already got the wrong agenda in mind. Amen. That's right. Because your whole objective is to try to get them saved so you can marry them. So you can. Now the biggest mistake you can make is to tell, is to tell a sinner, I'm going to wait for you. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's right. God going to try what you say. Yes, he will. You're going to tell a sinner, I'll wait for you. And you have the Holy Ghost. And then all of a sudden you start meeting other brothers and sisters who already have the Holy Ghost. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. I had to take his own working on this, but <laughs> Holy Ghost certainly know what you need. Oh yeah, because a lot of you is in the predicament that God is dealing with now. 
Glory to God. Amen. You don't ever tell someone without the Holy Ghost, I'm going to wait for you. No. Because no. now you may do what Isaac done. Right. It is written, God heard it. God heard it. The Lord heard it. Isaac, after Ishmael bragged about his circumcision, yeah. Isaac come along bragging. Well, if, if, if my father come along and present me as a sacrifice, right. I, I go along, I do it. I'll do it. It is written, the Lord heard it. The Lord heard it. Before you know it, God tells Abraham, offer up your son Isaac. It sound good. To, it sound good to God. That's right. That's right. Isaac should have just shut his mouth. Yeah. See, a lot of time it is your talk. That's right. That caused God to create a circumstance because you said I will do this I will do that I will the other God said all right that sound good to me I'm going to create something in their life that's going to force them to live up to what they said in my eyes and in my ears one year go by they ain't got it yet two years go by Ain't got it yet. <laughs> Come on, preacher. Come on, preacher. Now, three years go by, the clock starts ticking. Clock starts and because you becoming impatient, if you're not careful, you will start trying to convince her. Oh, you got it. I heard you speak, and she, all she did was stammer. That's right. That's right. But because you're impatient now, you trying to hurry up something that haven't came yet. Amen. Hmm? Go oh, ahead, man. By then words are justified. By that word, thou shalt be condemned. That's right. If you're not born again yeah. of the water and of the spirit, yeah. like the word of God teaches, yeah. which is the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues, yeah. not bow your head, not raise your hand, not join the church, not the hour of decision, not confess with your mouth and believe in your heart and you are saved. Right. None of that garbage. None of that. <laughs> Yeah. Repenting of your sins, baptizing in the name of Jesus Christ, having the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. If you don't have that, you're not born again. Not born again. You don't have the new birth. Right. Now here's someone that do have it. Sure. Why are you making marriage promises? That's right. That's right. Amen. How is it? Amen. Woman, have you got that emotionally di diluted? Yeah. And mentally unstable? Yeah. You're going to tell a brother... Who don't even have God in them. Mm. I'll wait for you. Ask yourself. Why you going to wait? Why? Amen. Amen. You don't have to. That's true. Did you hear the, did you hear the advice back here? <laughs> That's right. You don't have to. You don't have to. <laughs> Why are you waiting? Amen. That's true. God may make you wait till you're 70. <laughs> Not only that, suppose they backslide. But yet you threw the word out, I will wait. So you ain't considered. Suppose they backslide. That's true. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Suppose something come from the word of God that offends them. Offend them. So much they denounce the book. Amen. And blaspheme God. But you didn't think of that. Amen. You lead to your emotions yeah. and told them, I will wait by thine words. Yeah. Yeah. Justify. You're justified. You're yeah. justified. No, like by thine words, shall yeah. be condemned. Thou shalt be condemned. Thy own word. Mm. Yeah. Thy own word. I ain't going no. Amen. You older folk. Amen. That's older than the young brothers and sisters in their teens. Mm -hmm. We ain't playing church match make here. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Don't you go to nobody in their teens and tell them, you know what? I think that young brother will make you a good husband. No. Amen. Get a life. Amen. And leave theirs alone. Amen. That's right. This is not church matchmaking. That's right. You, sir. That's right. You mothers, don't you go to other parents' sons and tell them, well, my daughter is interested in you. Don't you go to other daughters and tell them, 
Well, my son is interested in you. Amen. You tell them, tarry for the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's right. Go ahead, man. You young girls that are in college, don't you get caught up in no man. Get your education out the way. Amen. And let the man get out the way. Don't you quit school to marry some man. That's right. Get your education under your belt. Face the fact. Right. Young people marriages of today are not lasting. That's right. That's Get your right. education under your belt, woman. Go ahead. That's true. Yeah. Work. Amen. Ain't no sin if you get a job. Amen. That's right. No Save sin. your money. Amen. It's no sin, no sin if you got a separate bank account from your husband. That's right. No sin. No if sin. you work, you can save your money. That's right. Not work and then bring him the check. That's right. And he give you allowance from your own money. Amen. Go ahead, preacher. Go ahead, Go ahead. Right is right. Am I right? Go ahead. right, is right. Your wife work? Set it in order. Why bro. she gotta give you her check? Go ahead. And you give her a measly twenty dollars. Go ahead. From right. her own money. Amen. You are right. You are right. Go ahead, man. You know you're right. Am I right? I said. Yes. 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 These young men yes. of today, yes. they are backward. Yes. And some of you young women is just as backward. Yes. You don't mind working and taking care of some man. What's the matter with you? A grown man laying around who's not sick. Ain't nothing wrong with him. He just don't want to work. And you agree to it. As long as he dropped you some pipe, am I right? Go ahead, brother. Amen. Yeah, you're breaking it down. As long as he dropped you some pipe, you're going to lay around and take care of bum. His hands refuse to labor. I don't care who it offends. That's right. Go ahead, brother. If you a woman like that, you don't love yourself. Yes. Go ahead. Preach God's word. You will agree to take care of a man who refused to work. His hands refuse to labor. Hey, do you hear the Bible talking? In the, pro in the book of Proverbs 21 and at verse 25. Call chapter and verse again. Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 25. What the word said. The desire of the slowful. The desire of the lazy. Killeth him. Amen. God said it. The yes, desire yes. of the slowful. The desire of the lazy. Killeth him. It kills him. For his hands. For his hands. Refuse to labor. Come on. I want to work. Come on. Come on. Listen, Jack, if I'm married and got kids yeah. and I'm not working. Oh, and if one of my brothers say, Brother David Wade has come to me and say, yo, Gino. Hey, look, man, I heard you ain't got a job. But look, my company's hiring, man. Mm -hmm. And. You, you, you have to be on your feet 20, 15 hours a day. Yeah. Go to work. I got kids. I'm going. Oh, yeah. I don't even tell them, well, I, I don't do that. I, don't I, do that. I got <laughs> flat feet. <laughs> <laughs> if I want to take care of my kids, I'm going to get the right shoes, That's right. right support. That's right. If I got to come home bent oh, over, yeah. my kids got to eat. Go ahead. Now I know many men that are watching are sick of me working on this. <laughs> That's right. Which verifies you a bum. Amen. Verifies it. Go ahead. And I blame some women. Go ahead. Because you have spoiled these no good bums. That's right. Spoiled them. Spoiled you have them. took care of them like they were a baby. That's right. They That's refuse right. to work, refuse and you keep making excuses. You men who don't have a job, yeah. don't just sit at home on the internet and no. search. No. You go got out. to go the old time way. Go, out. go, out. go outside. Right. Knock on doors. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, brother. 
Go ahead, brother. Come on. Go ahead. Are right, you listening? Yeah. All this is tied in with holiness. Yeah. That's right. Yes, it is. You're right. Because God said the desire of the slowful. The desire. Yeah. Amen. The reason why we tell you young girls to leave boys alone, you in school. True. One of the worst things can happen to you is get pregnant. Yeah. Now you gotta drop out of college. Okay. That's right. To take care of some bum's okay. child. Hey. Amen. And the bum is not going to be there for the child he helped me. That's right. That's good teaching, brother. So now you got to work. Good teaching. And still try to study. Still try to study. And now it may be overwhelming. That's right. You got to get two and three jobs. Then you got to argue with some bum. That's right. That want to be respected as a man. Go ahead, brother. Tell the people. Tell the people, brother. It's good teaching. You see why they hate Pastor Jennings? Amen. I love to ruffle the feathers of the fallen angels. That's right. That's right. That's right. They are hell's angels. That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. No man Go ahead. that comes to church. That's married. Mm -hmm. No woman should have to argue with him no. about taking care of his children. No. Never. We love that word. Never. Love your word. Go ahead, brother. This is old fashioned holiness. That's right. That's good. Go ahead, brother. I say I agree. Ain't no need to speak in tongue. No you won't take care of your children. No need. Ain't no need to quote a half a scripture. That's right. You won't take care of your children. That's right. Work on it. Take Amen. Your we worked on this in Baltimore. Yes. And Paul said to bring you the same thing is for your safety. That's right. Safe. Do you hear what it says? In 1 Timothy 5 and verse 8. 1 Timothy 5 and 8 says, But if any, if that got everybody. That's right. Any. Black, white, yellow, red, short, tall, fat, skinny, ugly, handsome. That's right. All of them. Speak tongue, no tongue. No tongue. But if any, if any, provide not for his own, provide not for his own, and especially for those, especially those of his own house. Look how God deal with it. He hath denied the faith. You, especially those of your own house. Own house. He have denied what? He hath denied the faith. I don't care what you do that pertains to the faith. God don't honor it. That's right. He don't honor you quoting scriptures. He don't honor you going to church. No. He don't honor you working in the church. That's right. He don't honor you saying amen to the word. No. Because you know a lot of folks say amen to everything else. But when I get on this subject. That's right. That's true. Preacher. Preacher. That's right. Mom's the word. Mom's the word. That's right. I desire our young people, if they have a desire to be married, you want to have a sense of pride, if I've used that word, yeah. of what you married. That's right. If a young man ever one day have a mind to marry my daughters, mm -hmm. the law is he better not even propose mm -hmm. until he talked to me and my wife. That's right. He but not even suggest engagement. Right. He but not even suggest it. That's right. And did he come talk to the parents? Yeah. Amen. Because I may see something in him. Yeah. That my emotionally diluted daughter may not see. That's right. <laughs> you know, because when someone is your first real love, a lot of things you may not see. Oh yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. I want to say I'm. Oh, I'm glad he ain't my father. That's a good father, buddy. Oh yeah. You know why? I want whatever young man my daughter bring home and marry. 
I want to, why you think, look at the title, son-in-law, son-in-law. I want to be just as proud to have him as a son-in-law as I am to be proud of my own son. I want him to be a son-in-law in title. I want to have just as much proud of the fact he's my son-in-law as I am my own son. I don't want her to marry in embarrassment. Some trifling no good bum who don't even want to wash. Amen. He just wash on the Sabbath. Need to marry someone who just want to have sex, have sex, come have on, sex. Come on, come on. Yeah. Red brothers. <laughs> My daughters are used to having a roof over their head. Yeah. They are used to eating. Yeah. They are used to having clothes on yeah. their back. Yeah. They don't have to settle for less. Yeah. That's right. You don't marry a man that gonna have you in the street. Yeah. Talk back to me. Yeah. Yeah. You women love yourself. And stop being so holy, you think you got to settle for less. They ain't holy, you's a fool. That's right, brother. You're telling the truth. Go ahead. Need this. Need this. I don't beat my wife. My daughters better not marry a man that beat them. That's right. I don't push my wife. My daughters better not marry a man that pushed them. I don't cuss my wife out. My daughters better not marry a man that use one foul word to them. Because if they bring them to my door, I want them to know that's the best you can do. That's right. That's right. That's the best you can do. Amen. That's not even good recycled goods. Amen. Go ahead, brother. When he sit at my table, I want to have a sense of pride. That's right. And that pride got to be there before they say I do. When you are emotionally diluted, you say, well, uh, well, I don't love him, but if I marry him, I can learn to love him. See, that type of thinking calls me to stagger. That's right. <laughs> Suppose you never left, fall in love with him. That's another problem. A lot of you don't know the difference between loving and being in love. Because most people ain't never been in love. You ask most married people, do you love them? Yeah. Are you in love? They say, yeah. You know why? A lot of them don't know the difference between either. But when you get some good teaching and notice the separation between love and in love, in love. then it makes you like, oh, well, wait a minute. <laughs> don't ever let no one come to you and say we're soul mates and yet they don't understand the meaning of a soul. That's right. How are you going to say you're a soul mate? Where your soul at? That's right. Do you even know what it is? That's right. Can you explain it? That's right. Can you define it? That's right. If a brother say to you, well, I think God gave you to me. And he keeps saying that. <laughs> brother, I advise you to ask that girl, do you think, you know, God gave me to you? Because she may not feel the same way. That's right. That's right. That's right. And if you don't feel that way, stop hesitating. Be around the bush. Just tell him, no. <laughs> Yeah. He claims he's a man. He can take it. He can take Amen. it. Same way with you, brother. Yeah. That's true. Are well, you listening to the old troublemaker? Trouble. Yeah. Troublemaker. This is Easter. <laughs> That's right. Eh? That's right. Well, this is one egg that got a nice get a nice some good stuff in it. Yeah. Good protein. Go ahead. Right. Go ahead. You young and inexperienced, don't become emotionally diluted and mentally incapacitated. Mature. And to do that, you must learn mature lessons through teaching. Stay out of a young girl's way if she in college. Let her finish her education. 
encourage her to go on with God and education. Amen. Don't sneak and go behind your parents' back and get his number. That's right. Now you're acting like a trifling hoe. Especially if the brother's in the same church you're in. He hear what the word is preaching. And yet you're going behind your leader and the disrespecting him behind his back. And if brother you agree to it, you know you ain't good for marrying. Because you're not even honoring leadership. That's right. If you're not honoring it before you get married, you ain't going to honor it after you get married. That's right. Get on leadership. Go against leadership. If my sister hear this teaching and have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, and she go to a brother that don't have it, look, we, we got to stop. I mean, you need the Holy Ghost. That's right. How you going to tell them on Monday? morning we, we got to cut it off and then by monday night you in the bed with them wrestling Come on. get some stability about you go ahead brother am i right i said go ahead. Go ahead. i know most of you have never said in church this long but this is good to the last drop the last drop Amen.